Well, Florida taxpayers may soon be on the hook for legal fees stemming from book bans. A new lawsuit was filed today by one of the largest publishing houses in the world. Random House is suing a Florida school district over the removal of its books about race and LGBTQ identities. News 6's Carolina Cardona joins us now and has been digging into both sides of this issue. Carolina. Yeah, that lawsuit states the Escambia School District located in Florida's Panhandle unlawfully removed 10 books and it says it was unconstitutional. Constitutional. The plaintiffs say some of the books had been part of the county school library system for decades. Pan America, a nonprofit organization that works to protect free expression, is putting up a fight against Escambia School District. We certainly, as an organization that advocates against book banning and restrictions and removals of, of, of books from students, we are hopeful that this can have a positive outcome for the families of Florida. The organization is hopeful a federal lawsuit they filed against Escambia County School District and its board members will prevail after several books were removed from county school libraries. This is is their use of power to restrict young people's access to particular ideas. Ashley Hope Perez is one of the plaintiffs in the lawsuit. She's the author of Out of the Darkness, a book she says uses the new London school explosion as a backdrop for a love story between a black teen and a Mexican-American. It really delves into some of the painful aspects of our country's um, history of racism, not just school segregation for black and white students, but also separate schooling for Mexican-American children in Texas, where the book is set. Pen America says the actions in this case are not a direct response to laws passed by the DeSantis administration last year. There's a climate of censorship setting in, and um, so could this action, you know, have some reverberations across the state? It could. Could it have some impact on the ways that those laws are being enforced? Uh, it could. According to the lawsuit, Escambia County School Board's removal of books that talk about race, racism, and LGBTQ plus identities goes against the recommendations of the District Review Committee, stating they ignored those recommendations and violated the First Amendment by censoring certain ideas and viewpoints. Me joining in on this case feels for me like a larger statement about what the the place that I believe my books have in in the lives of people. Kyle Lukoff is author of When Aiden Became a Brother and Too Bright to See. Both of his books were removed. I have been feeling worried and angry and anxious and invigorated for about, about two years now. About two years ago is when I first started entering the, the world of book bands as an author. Other books pulled off library shelves are Uncle Bobby's Wedding and All Boys Aren't Blue. In the case of Escambia, they had a policy in place where books that are challenged are supposed to remain on the shelves while a review takes place, um, and that's not what happened. And now we reached out to Escambia School District and were told they are unable to comment due to pending litigation. Carolina Cardona, News 6. Carolina, thank you. Our Solutionaries team just released a deep dive into the debate over banning books and what, if any, solutions there are. You can watch our full conversation by going to clickorlando.com slash solutionaries. Just click on YouTube.